As much as I love this slow process of applying makeup, and I really do, I find it so relaxing. Sometimes you just don't have the energy or the time and you just want something quick and simple and easy. So I wanna show you how to create this very quick and easy look. It might be the quickest makeup look ever. And all you're gonna need is an eyeshadow primer, your favorite bronzer, a fluffy brush, and a brown eyeliner or cream eyeshadow, or both. Now let's get started creating this look. So we're gonna start by applying an eyeshadow primer all over the lid and I would recommend using a tinted one because we don't want to add any extra steps of applying say highlighter underneath our brows. We wanna make sure that the eyeshadow primer that we're using is slightly tinted just to disguise any natural discoloration on the lid which will also help our other shadows pop and because we're just using bronzer and one shadow or even liner, we wanna make sure our lids are kind of brighter looking. So that's what your eyeshadow primer should do. And I would also recommend using a sponge to blend it out because it actually goes on more much quicker if you do this because applying with your fingertips can take a little bit of time when you're trying to get onto all of the different angles. Applying with a sponge just covers the entire area and also makes sure that's a very even layer. So highly recommend using an eyeshadow primer and using a sponge to blend it out. Then just grab whatever bronzer that you're gonna be using on your face and a blending brush. And as we talked about in my previous video, I'm basically holding the brush like I would hold a pen. I'm also kicking it back into the well position and I'm bringing my hand slightly lower so that we can work into the crease of the eye. So this this is where the eye creases into the eye shape. If you want more information on how to hold your brushes, you can check out my previous video, but I will do one for how to hold your brushes when it comes to eye makeup brushes. So if you'd like to see that, definitely let me know in the comment section. Now we don't wanna to be too precise with this because this is a very quick and easy look. So don't worry if you bring it down onto the lid, that's totally fine. Just try to leave a gap underneath the brows because we don't have time for applying a little bit of highlight there or sharpening up around our brows. That's what the primer already did. It already created that clean line. So just try to keep that clean line as you're applying your bronzer but you should end up with something that looks like this. Now moving on, you're going to grab a brown liner. I would recommend using brown as a black and then a cream eyeshadow. So you can do either or, or you can do both. I'll show you how to do both. You're going to apply the liner onto the waterline and then you're gonna smudge it with your fingertips. So I'm gonna do the upper waterline. I'm not gonna do the lower one because it will probably transfer anyway. It's a very creamy pencil. So what I do is I look down in a mirror and I just place this upwards, tilting upwards, and just run this along my upper waterline waterline. Alternatively, you can lift up your lid and just apply it in that way, but it's up to you whatever makes you feel more comfortable. And try looking in the opposite direction. It just makes it easier and it's not so tickly when you're not directly putting the liner in front of your eye line. And then all you want to do is to take your finger and very lightly start to smudge over the top of your closed eye. This will transfer it above and below the eye and create a soft smokiness. Then take a cream eyeshadow. I'm using one that has like a bronzy tone, very flattering on most eyes. And I'm just going to apply this with my fingertips, applying this right at the lash line and just smudging then around the eye. I do have a video on how to apply all of your makeup using just your fingertips. If you want to check that out, I'll link it in the description box and also on the screen here. Most importantly is just to make sure you're focusing it right at the lash line. Try not to go up too high. You can very slightly kind of smudge and bring it upwards, but focus every time you pick up a little bit more right at the lash line. You can also smudge this slightly underneath the eye with whatever's left over on your fingertips. To be honest though, if you only have a very limited time to actually apply eye makeup, I would recommend focusing more on your mascara and maybe your eyelashes if you're going to apply false eyelashes. They always just bring the entire look together and you look more glam and more done up, opens up the eyes, gives you kind of a more polished finished look. So if you don't have much time, focus on your mascara or your eyelash placement. And then there you go, a super quick and easy eye makeup look. I've done this in the car, even though applying lashes in the car is a little tricky. Not while I'm driving though, when Davey's driving, not me. But I will do this in the car because I don't have to have too many products with me. I can just grab a couple of different things, pop them on my eyes, do this in the car. It's quick, it's easy, and then I feel super glam and ready to go. Let me know if you would try this out or if you have any tips and tricks on how to get ready in a hurry. What's one product that you absolutely love that you just put it on and you're like, I feel good. I feel glam. I actually went out this weekend and I am a homebody. Okay. I, I don't go out. I went out with some of Davy's friends this weekend and I didn't have much time to get ready because my JHS was acting up so much that I was like lying in agony for so long. And then I was like, okay, I have 20 minutes. Let's go. And it ended up being really nice. I don't usually get 
a chance to see other people and I'm usually at home by myself on weekends because Davy's working but to have just 20 minutes to get ready I was a bit panicky but you know what it was worth it just to do a quick makeup look do my hair real quick and head out the door and then I ended up looking after someone's random dog <laughs> which is the highlight of my night I had a really nice lovely weekend with Davy and some friends and I hope that you all had a great weekend too and if it wasn't great there's another weekend on its way and I hope that the next weekend is much better for you and I hope that you've had a great start to the week and if you need a hug I am sending you it I'm sending you lots of support I'm going to tell you to keep going you're doing the best you can and you should be proud of yourself and as always my friends be kind to yourself be kind to others and I will see you in the next one